Hey, what's going on? It's the Max Nane coming to you guys with a brand new video. And yes, today we are going to be talking about the Mike Babcock situation that happened uh, earlier. Well, when I'm recording this earlier today, but at the time this posts yesterday. And I wanted to wait until everything came out about this because this stuff happened. I was going to make a video when it originally broke, but this stuff just kind of happened, you know, one after another after another. Like this whole thing happened in the matter of a day. And for the most part, it seems to be settled, but it, it's, there's still, uh, there's still some stuff going on with it. But if you guys don't know, uh, earlier this year, I believe in July, the Columbus Blue Jackets announced that Mike Babcock was going to be their head coach. Now, as a Red Wings and Toronto fan, I know a thing or two about Mike Babcock and the stories of you know, how he treated players, especially his stars. You know, he he and uh, Henrik Zetterberg got into, allegedly got into shouting matches in the hallways. Uh, he allegedly, I mean, he sat Mike, Mike Madano on his 1,000th game, not allowing him to hit 1,000 games. So he's just overall not a cool dude. And a lot of people will point to him being like, oh, but he won to stay on the cup with the Red Wings. Yeah, but that Red Wings team was captained by was it captained by Nicholas Lidstrom, with your associate captains being Pavel Datsuk and Henrik Zetterberg. Not to mention at the time, Johan Franz and Nicholas Cronwell. You had you that team could have one hundred percent coached itself, and it did coach itself essentially. Any te- anyone could have gone into there. Uh, Jeff Blaschel could have been the coach behind that team, and they still would have won a Stanley Cup. Like you did they they were going it was just destined at that point so you look back at mike babcock's history and you think why the hell did they bring him back and the there there's no good answer i don't know i don't even think the columbus blue jackets know why they brought him back but the point is they did and training camp and the prospect tournament hasn't even started the prospect tournament happens this weekend which i'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a video about that too but don't, we're getting ahead of ourselves the training camp and the prospect tournament haven't even started yet, and he's already allegedly starting shit. Now, it was reported by uh, the Spittin' Chicklets podcast from Barstool Sports, obviously, that allegedly Mike Babcock had been asking players to hand them hand him this phone and to, like go through photos and stuff like that to see what type of person they are that is what was reported now that alone is kind of fucked like you don't as a hockey player expect to go in talk to your brand new head coach like you talk you you expect to go and talk to your brand new head coach but you don't expect to have that conversation turn to okay now give me your phone look at let's look at your pictures and supposedly put them up on a tv for everybody to see you know that's that's also fucked but you don't expect that you expect to go in have a conversation with your new head coach and talk about you know what you do and you know hobbies stuff like that like any other boss you know i know when i get hired into a job i'm asked during the interview or in the application process you know what type of hobbies do I do in my free time? What kind of, you know, do I spend time with my family? Stuff like that. Just so that way your employer gets a feel for what kind of person you are without going in too deep into your personal life. Never once have I ever gone into an interview or just talking with my boss and them saying, hey, give me your phone. I want to look through your pictures and whatnot to see what you're up to. That's not ever happened to me because it's not supposed to happen now during this whole thing the columbus blue jackets did make a statement uh they made it they posted it on all their social media stuff like that while meeting with our players and staff i asked them to share off their off their phones family pictures as part of the process of getting to know them better there was absolutely nothing more to it than that the way it was portrayed on the spit and chicklets podcast was a gross misrepresentation of those meetings and extremely offensive these meetings have been very important and beneficial not only for me but for our players and staff as well. And to have them depicted like it is irresponsible and completely inaccurate. That was from Mike Babcock. And it goes on to 
give a quote to from Boone Jenner, who was allegedly, which is basically the play that all started around. Now, nobody knows who sent the text to Spittin' Chicklets, but this is Boone Jenner is the player that it was revolved around, essentially. Uh, while meeting with Babs, he asked me about my family and where I'm from, my upcoming wedding, and hockey-related stuff. He then asked if I had pictures of my family, and I was happy to share them with him. He showed me pictures of his family. I thought it was a great first meeting and a good way for us to start to build a relationship. To have this blown out proportion, proportion is truly disappointing. Now, it uh, obviously, we don't know if this is true or not. Uh, obviously, it is true that Mike Babcock you know, asked to see pictures of Boone Jenner's family. Boone Jenner said he was happy to show them. And that was it. Now, if somebody asks, you know, if somebody's talking, you know, you're talking about your family, stuff like that. And he asks to see a picture of your family or, you know, you show a picture of your family and stuff like that. That's one thing, you know, and if this is deemed to be true, which I don't know why Columbus would lie about it, or if they think they were lying, why they would publish a statement in the first place. But there, there's nothing wrong with that. Now, if he was asking to see pictures of your family, well, that's a bit of blurred territory. I know a lot of people and a lot of players like to keep their personal life out of their, you know, hockey and professional life and their job. I'm one of the people who just like to keep my personal life realistically out of my job in general because they're two completely different mediums. But the point is, it's very, it's weird. You know, and one thing that has always kind of confused me is when podcasts, stuff like that, like the Spit and Chicklets podcast, just go off and assume that, you know, everything saying is that's being said is true. Paul Bissonette, who I think originally reported on it from the Spit and Chicklets podcast, he responded to it saying, tell Babs to knock off the bullshit enough with putting guys on the spot in the coach's room, asking them to link their phones up to airplane mode and grilling them. I've had tons of players confirm it. Smarten the fuck up, Babs. Shove your statement up his ass. Now, it's this is a kind of, as a lot of things are in professional sports, it's kind of a believe it or not situation. Um, if it's coming directly from the team, Odds are it's legit, you know. Obviously, there's been instances where a team is just flat out lying and stuff like that, you know, like <coughs> Vancouver. <laughs> but regardless, it's a bit of a off the rails and wild thing to just go off like this. Like, if the statement's true, I don't see anything wrong with it. And obviously, you don't want to give sources and stuff like that if you're a journalist and you don't want to throw any players under the bus because then bat repercussions can come towards them but it is kind of a cop out when you just say you've had tons of players confirm it what does tons mean is it one or two or is it you know the whole team of 24 like you got to be a bit more specific than just tons of players but it didn't stop there. He said, we're a player's podcast. You want to fuck with the players. We're going to bend you over. No spit, no lube, sandpaper finish. That's classic spit and chicklets, Paul Bissonette stuff. But yeah, it, my whole interpretation of this is it was blown out of proportion. Straight up, I think it was blown out of proportion. Uh, the Players Association is looking into it. And if something comes back, then I will retract my statement saying that it was blown out of proportion. And I'll admit I was wrong. But at this stage, there's no verifiable proof that Mike Babcock was forcing players to give him their phones and airplay them to a TV for everybody to see and stuff like that. You know, there's no verifiable proof that that actually happened. There's proof and verifiable proof because Columbus showed it themselves saying, yes, Mike Babcock asked for Mike Babcock asked them to share pictures family pictures from their phone which like I said is a bit of a blurred line and all the player has to do it's a new it's a new generation like if we were talking back early 2000s and 90s era this stuff may have flown may have gone under the radar more often than not 
because back then people players you know they look at their coach and are see and it's shown as a sign of they show respect you know most players back then don't talk back or go off on their coaches even though it was which is weird because it was more of an attitude era back then and i know there's a there's stories and stuff like that about people doing it and whatnot but this is a new generation players nowadays have very little problem telling anybody off and all the player has to do is say no and if he says no and the and say Boone Jenner said no I would, I'm not going to do that and Mike Babcock did straight up force him to do it then you got a different story but going off of the Columbus Blue Jackets statement it's showing that he asked Boone Jenner said he was happy to do it Mike Babcock showed him pictures of his family and that was all it was so like I said my take on it is that it was blown out of proportion as of right now my take at least my take on it is it was blown out of proportion by an a journalist who you know got a text from a player an undisclosed player obviously and it was reported immediately with little fact checking and digging just to get you know just just to get clicks because a headline that says Columbus Blue Jackets head coach might like you can look at it here new Blue Jackets coach Mike Babcock allegedly asks players for their cell phones and airplays their photos on his TV that just is a horrible sound that makes it sound like Mike Babcock is taking their phones and throwing all of their personal images on a TV for somebody to for everybody to see that's wild like but that's what you that's what this whole thing is about that's what being a journalist is about is getting clicks and this type of a story with that type of a headline is going to generate clicks going to generate money stuff like that so that's my take on it like i said if anything else comes out if the players association investigation leads to something saying no mike babcock is in the wrong here or mike babcock did this and it wasn't it wasn't wasn't right or whatnot i could be proven wrong but with everything we have, we know right now, in my opinion, it's just being blown out of proportion. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I imagine I'm going to have some people here, you know, not on my side. But it's it's my opinion. And like I said, my opinion could change if the, if the Players Association investigation brings anything new to the table. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is, as always, the Mexanadian, and I'll talk to you guys later. Adios.